All right, buckle in. If this is your first time seeing these highlights, Jets get a good individual effort from Pierre-Luc Dubois, and it's Kyle Connor. Pierre-Luc Dubois was unbelievable in the first period. I thought, this guy's not going to just dominate this game. Splits through four guys, gets his own rebound, shot on net, and there comes in Connor for his tasty 30th goal of the season. Well, six wow. minutes later, more pressure from the Jets, keeping it in the zone. Puck's going to get fired at Frankie and Svechnikov right in front. Boss Pierre looked the ball again. He goes all the way across the blue line, throws it over to Morrissey, and boom! Deflexione. And we're thinking, this is not how it goes down at Ball Arena. Well, depression really set in here. Abs pinch, get caught. 50 50 puck, and it's Adam Lowry, and he buries it. Snipe, short side. Now, I wonder if the Abs weren't playing in Vegas tomorrow night. Does Coach Paul Francois just you know, from a momentum standpoint, change the goal to anybody he sticks with Frankie. And I think it pays off, Kyle. It did, because an early power play for the Avs, and it's a power move from the captain. No, no funny business here. He's just taking it to the house and burning it down. I still don't know what Hellebuck's doing here, folks, to just yeah. not have the stick out. Watch Hellebuck, so Landis dogs down below by the goaltender. Just goes for the quick stop, and Hellebuck's stick is to the side. Watch the goaltender. I've never seen this. He's like, yeah, five holes there, just put it in. <laughs> I don't know, do they have a bet before the game or something we don't know about? They would lose the bet under 10 minutes. Somebody's going to steal the Jets' Jets and hit hyperdrive. The super freak. Oh, that's afterburner all the way, folks. Look at Nick come in, just backing the defenseman in. Everybody's backing him with all that speed and just shoots it right off that far post and in so much speed, nobody knows what's happening except for great 29. 3-2, so we're thinking, okay, they're back in this thing, and then Landeskog's in front. And I'll tell you what, this place went dead. At, at this point in time, this is a tie game. This game was over. Ball Arena was packed tonight. You couldn't find an empty seat. There's Gabe Landeskog lighting up a three-goal second period. Look at that deflection. We know he's got one more to come. But wow, the comeback was on. Yes, it was. And early in the third, you could not have asked for a better guy to score. And it's going to be Andre the Giant with a massive goal at a perfect time. Boom! Oh, oh. Score from distance, folks. One of the few players in the league that can burn a goaltender from distance. And boom, the snapshot. Top of the circles to beat an NHL goaltender. I'm telling you, there's only maybe 20 guys in the NHL that can do it consistently. Burakovsky is one of them, and our hat's off to him for getting off the schnack. Under eight minutes, the magical comeback continues. Kale McCarr is going to have it up top, and McKinnon down low. This tip is just sickening. Yeah, we haven't seen McKinnon tip one in in a while, but the guy, Miko sees it. Watch Miko's eyes. Kyle and I are right above. He sees the hole, and that's not a shot to score. That is a shot to tip. And is that McKinnon or Gabe Landeskog doing his best Landeskog impersonation? Well, under six minutes to go, the question was, could he do it? Could the captain complete the unthinkable? And Landis you know, he just basically says, you are the wind in his mouth. Ah, it was so great. Big foul to Hey, little Bette Midler. OK, I'm done with Bette Midler. But look at that shot. Oh, and the celebration, the hats. I think everybody threw their hat off their head tonight. No more Bette Midler.